So this is my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Um, you guys asked for a Valentine's Day look, but I just holding out because I know I was doing a collab. So this is my first collab video. So this is my first collab video and it is Valentine's Day themed. I'm doing a collab with two girls here on YouTube and one of them is Keisha Kaylee or Keisha Anderson. And then the other one is It's Abby Baby. Um, they both did different videos. Um, Keisha on her channel, she has these series called Keisha Talks and she's gonna do a video about, um, what to do on Valentine's Day as far as, like, gifts and sex and just things like that and the link to her video will be in the description box and it's abby baby um she's doing diy looks for valentine's day and again her link will be in the description box to her video um on keisha's channel she does like vlogs and um like she's like a beauty slash lifestyle guru and it's abby baby does like a lot of diy type um of videos and things of that nature so yeah go out and check their channels out and if you want to see like what they did and the links will be down in the description box for both of them so yeah for my makeup tutorial i just decided to keep it very simple sexy and girly and like romantic not too much um i want it to be super like sexy and soft so i didn't do much on my bottom lash line or i didn't even put black eyeliner like i usually do I just put a little bit of color there just so it's not too like just washed out you know so yeah that's what I did and I just kept it really simple I think this is more of a daytime um daytime or day date kind of look or it can either be nighttime as well but I think it's appropriate for both I really really love this look this look is probably going to become one of my like just everyday go-to looks I really absolutely love the color combination that I came up with um, so, yeah. so I'm going to start off by priming my eyelid with the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless Eye Primer. And then I'm going to go in with the Coastal Scents Hot Pot in the color Paprika and I'm using this as my transition color. If you don't have Paprika, you can definitely use Coastal Scents um, Hot Pot in, what is it, Oktoberfest or you can use any warm tone brown shade you have. So to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to be using this Coastal Scents Hot Pot in the color Polar Bear. And then to define my crease area, I'm going to use the Coastal Scents Hot Pot in the color Fine Wine. And I'm just doing this to give my eye a little bit of more dimension. So I'm just rocking that back and forth in the socket of my eye. I'm loving these berry tones here lately if you guys haven't noticed and I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. So now I'm just blending, blending, and blending. I took a little bit more of that paprika, paprika color to blend out a little more. So from my Morphe 35 color um, eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using this pale pink peachy color and I'm applying that on my lid. And I'm not taking it all the way like to the outer corner. And I'm just bu building that color up to the intensity that I would like. And now I'm just adding some more of that fine wine color to just sharpen up my lines a little more. This is kind of like a cut crease, but not like a really sharp cut crease. So now I'm going to tight line my eyes with the Rimmel Exaggerate Eye Coal. Like 
And next, I'm using my NYC Liquid Eyeliner to do a winged eyeliner. If you don't like winged eyeliner, you can just do a straight black line on your eye. But this time, I wanted to do a smaller wing and a very thin type of eyeliner. And this time, I did my eyeliner more straight out because normally I usually angle it up. But this time, I went for the more straight across winged eyeliner, <laughs> liner look. And I'm going to cut myself off here because I'm taking too long with this eyeliner. So then I'm going to use my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara to prep my lashes for my falsies. For lashes, I'm going to be using these number 43 lashes and these are just from the Beauty Supply Store and this brand is Broadway. And the eyelash adhesive I used is the House of Lashes eyelash adhesive. And you want to get that as close to your lash line as possible since we did do a very thin liner. So now moving on to the face, I'm using this NYX Angel Bell Primer. And you want to make sure you prime your face, ladies, because you're going to be out having a good time on Valentine's Day. And you want to make sure your makeup lasts long and does not move and smudge all over the place. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. And I use two shades because one of them is too light and one of them is too dark. Um, and I use more of the darker shade. And I think these are numbers 330 and 350. I don't know, but it will be in the description box. And I'm just pointing that out with a Diva Beauty angled buffing brush. And my earring fell off. So to highlight, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the color 35. And I'm applying that under my eyes in a triangular shape as usual and down the bridge of my nose and in the center of my forehead. I'm blending this out with a angled type of brush. It's like a precision brush from Sigma but it's not a Sigma brush. And then I'm going to go in with the brush I used um, to apply my foundation with just to blend it out a little bit more. So to set that concealer, I'm using the NARS Light Reflecting Pressed Powder. And now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. And this is an e.l.f. powder brush. And then to add some warmth back into my face and to contour a little bit, I'm using the CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer in the color Ebony Bronze. And this brush is a Real Techniques Contour Brush. And I'm applying that in the hollows of my cheeks, on the temples, and my forehead, and a little bit along my jawline. For blush, I'm using this Milani Baked Blush in the color Berry Amore. And I'm applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending backwards. So to give myself the highlight and dewy look, I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal. And I'm applying that to the high points of my cheekbones. And I'm using a Coastal Scents Fan Brush. So for the lips, I'm using the NARS Audacious Lipstick and this is in the color Anita. So I wanted a more glossy finish, so I'm using the Marc Jacobs, I think it's called Lust for Lips, 
um, and this is the color Kissability, but I will have the correct name in the description box. So moving back to the eyes, I'm going to take some of that fine wine color and just apply a little bit on my bottom lash line or lower lid just to give me a little bit of color and define it a little bit. I want this to look to be very soft and girly, sexy and romantic, perfect for Valentine's Day. So I don't want too much and make it too harsh on the bottom lash line. So then just to open my eyes up a little bit, I'm going to take a little bit of this flesh tone coastal scents hot pot and apply that in my tear duct area just to give me a bright and open look and then I'm going to apply just a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes just to define them a little bit and then that's basically the complete look perfect for Valentine's Day soft simple and easy to do hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and I'll see you guys in my next one bye Hey guys, so Abby's video isn't DIY looks, it's DIY date night ideas. Sorry about that. <laughs>